See, I'm not against immigration. I mean, that's the important thing, that, and I, nor are the people of the, the United Kingdom. We just want to have it managed. And I think what we're saying is that, you know, immigration brings benefits to us. We can see that with the people here as I walk through uh, into the studio. We see that across the country, the business people that are involved, the footballers and, uh, and the like. And here, even the Scots, we could say we're winning the Grand National, if you want to say that. Great combination for years. But what we do know is that the impact on mass migration that occurred predominantly from the era of Tony, uh, Tony Blair and Gordon Brown, when we've had millions of people come in, without managing that, has pushed down wages. You know, the OE, uh, the Bank of England, the EU... No, the there's no evidence also. that the average wage has gone down, is there? Look, there is significant evidence. Not to, statistically. St statistically, yeah. I can show you that's why we went through the report on terms of that. And even one of the big reports that was done by Dustin, uh, who was a, a report for the, 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 those who believe in mass migration, last year when it said EU citizens contributed massively, if you looked at the back of their report, they said la migration as a whole was negative to the country. So you've got mm. to really look into the depth of this. Mm. But basing ba base this as an important factor. As our philosophy, we should say, have a fair, flexible and forward-thinking immigration system that doesn't stop immigration, just manages it to a way that works for our economy.